for blue water is all I see. Bluer than the sky and it's all so deep. Say island to island. Aloha, this is your boy, Bradamel aka the Hawaiian Peacock here with another video for you in this video here uh, you can see you know what I have on right and you know where I'm standing when I have this hat on you know it's Tiki Falls time all right in this episode of Tiki Falls we're gonna seal the deal now what I mean by seal the deal we're using water foam sealant and if you guys don't know what water foam sealant is this is the video to watch because I'm gonna go into detail on how to seal the waterfall now waterfall foam uh, sealant is very very popular especially when you're building waterfalls in the pond building industry and so I'm gonna show you exactly uh, the procedures on how to use it and what to do and why why we use it so here's the can right here okay this is it the waterfall foam sealant as you can see got the cap there anyways it's about 13 bucks got it at Lowe's and I believe Home Depot sells it too as well uh, but I got two cans of this as you can see my waterfall isn't that big so this should be more than enough and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this and we're gonna spray I don't know if you can see all these little cracks and crevices here this foam will expand sort of like that foaming expanding uh, that expanding foam that you would use like in the garage or around water heaters and it hardens same thing with this same concept But this is gray. All right, so it matches the decor and it stays dark now once that foam settles in there You use this smaller rock like I got right here and you stuff it in the cracks So it kind of blends in with the decor it blends in with the aquascape here. And so uh, Yeah, this is what it's about. So we're gonna get into details about it and um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, let's go this is what I like to do with my riverbed uh, pebble uh, stone. This here is a little bit smaller size um, than, let's say, this rock here. It's a little bit smaller than that. And they also have one that's even smaller than this, which is more like a pea pebbles, I believe they call it, or pea gravel. But anyways, I didn't want that small. So that rock there that's actually in the falls right there, I put a pile of it there just so I can use it to uh, do the detail in the uh, scape here so what we're going to do is we are going to show you or i'm going to show you what i like to do i like to rinse out my bag it's almost like gravel like substrate you know so i get a i kind of keep it all in the bag but i just i cut open with a blade half of it so i just take this half here and i roll it and then i don't shoot it on a high level i have it on shower mode you can see the hose so shower mode is just going to get all that excess dirt off the gravel or the uh, river pebble, as they call it. And you'll see it start to slowly drain all that dirt. You can see the dirt. And if you use the higher, like uh, a spray or a jet, um, it would actually, <laughs> obviously would push all the rock out. So you don't want to push the rock or move it. You just want to get it wet enough to where all that dirt and mud and 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 that's all over the rock you want it to settle to the bottom and then you can slowly start taking piles of it off is it a pain in the butt yeah it is but this is just me because if you don't water or wash your rock before you actually stick it in your pond which a lot of people do it what will happen is if you take the bag of rock and you just stick it in your pond and then you're gonna you're gonna squirt it down or run the water your water will get extremely cloudy just like substrate right like new substrate if you don't rinse it, it it gets extremely cloudy so this is just to prevent it from getting cloudy really cloudy it's gonna get cloudy but I like to rinse out my stone before I apply it and put it inside the pond um, that way it just doesn't get all milky dark muddy water okay so that's just a little uh, FYI a little DIY what I like to do um, before I uh, apply or put my rock inside Tiki Falls all right so if you look down in this crack here you can see the foam how it foams up and it seals any crack and how you have that exposed all you need to do is grab like a handful of rocks like so and we just drop it right inside the crack gives it a natural look it hides the foam this is like I said the tedious work when you make it all cover up the foam so we're gonna get some more foam stick it down on this rock line here and then we're going to cover it up with more rock 
Let's get to that. All right, so we're going to continue to foam down the line or sides of the rock. As you can see, we are just filling in the gap between the pond liner and the rock. This is what I want the water to do so we can control the water. We want the water to go over the rock versus fall down in between the pond liner and the stone or the riverbed rock. So this is why I'm, I'm uh, foaming all this edge here. It's going to expand in between the cracks. We don't want any water to flow in between the rocks. Um, as you can see, we're going deep down the crack. It's going to expand to about the thir a third of its size. And um, yeah, we're just getting all the cracks. We don't want any water to leak outside of the pond liner. We want to keep all the water down in the waterfall spill well. So it's flowing down. Nothing's going to leak. There's not going to be any flooding. Um, and uh, we won't be losing water. So as you can see, if you look down the sides here, we got it foam, 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 all the way down the line, all the way around. We're going to pour some rock down inside this and get it ready. Here we go. We're going to shovel some rock. I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. This is smaller pebble stone. We're going to use both a smaller and a larger. So I'm just going to put it up here in a little pile, and then I'm going to get my hands and kind of put it down in between, in between the cracks. As this hardens, it gets sticky, so it'll just stick all this uh, rock in between the cracks. So I, what I did was I hit it with a slow motion so you can see it. It's all rocked in, everything's foamed. We got two and a half bags of rock down the center. You can see the spillway where the waterfall is gonna start. I'm gonna have it go down in between the spillway over that rock, down around this second rock, both sides. And so I hope you it. guys enjoyed this video of Tiki Falls 2.0, episode 12. Next up, episode 13, and I'm pretty much sure it's a wrap on 13. Uh, as far as filling it up and us running the water for the first time down the falls, um, I hope in this video you guys understood a little bit more about the waterfall foam sealant. It's kind of a tongue twister, waterfall foam sealant. Anyways, um, I try to make it as easy as possible uh, with the visual and understand how the how the waterfall how to, how the waterfall foam sealant expands. It expands within five minutes. I didn't really explain that, and that's a good time to add the rock. Um, if you add it too soon, it just gets mushy. All right, you want it to get semi sticky and semi semi hard, not all the way hard, right? And it takes about 24 to 48 hours for it to cure and be solid, and then uh, ready to add water. So. It recommends that you guys use gloves that stuff gets really sticky so there was a couple you know shots where i wasn't using gloves just because um it's getting the video grab it putting on a glove taking off a glove it was just kind of like eh. so i just went ahead and did it freestyle and um yeah, it didn't get too much on my hand but it does get extremely sticky so just so you guys know but it's really important uh waterfall foam sealant is like what guides the water if you want it to go over over a rock like a spill zone do you want it to go around a rock do you want it to go to the left do you want the water to go to the right um you know sealing all the cracks in between uh the stone as it's guided on the sides left and right is extremely important if you want the water to like stay you want the water to stay inside the pond liner uh you don't want leaks because then obviously your water level starts to drop and then you got to go back and look where it's leaking from it's just a disaster so the best thing to do is to use waterfall foam sealant um in the beginning and then you use the natural rock like i like i, I like i showed you guys I used two sides, uh, two different sizes of rocks, the smaller pebble, and then a little bit like a medium sized pebble. And uh, the combination of both give it a more natural look. Obviously the smaller pebble gets in between the smaller cracks, and then you use the bigger pe pebble just to cover it up, give it a more natural look. It kind of blends in with the rocks, but I'm super excited to show you guys Tiki Falls 2.0, but it doesn't just stop here at Tiki Falls 2.0. There's still a lot of projects. There's st still a lot of videos to make. Um, yeah, I'm just super excited. Uh, I'm pumped right now with Tiki Falls 2.0 because we're so close. Um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please click it, turn it to gray, uh, turn that notification bell on, and then uh, that's just going to notify you when I put out a new video. You can't miss Tiki Falls 2.0 videos. I mean, it's coming along. I'll put, and if you have missed the Tiki Falls series, I'm going to put the link down below in the comment box, all right? 
I'll put a play. I have a playlist of just Tiki Falls 2.0 uh, from one all the way to, I guess, 12, right? And so uh, just click on that link if you got time and you can see the whole process from day one, the teardown when it was a pondless waterfall and now uh, creating the pond. And um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of nice to go back and watch those and be like, wow, I started from that, you know? So uh, check it out. Uh, be a part of the Hawaiian Peacock Ohana. Like this video and comment below, okay? Don't forget to share this video too. If somebody is uh, trying to build a pond or wants to know how to build a pond, uh, by all means, I'm no pro, and uh, you know, but but maybe this video can inspire them. And it's not that hard. I'm a regular dude. It's my first pond I've ever made, so I'm learning too as well. But um, yeah, I'm just here to spread the love, and maybe I can inspire someone to make a pond in their backyard. El Natural, all right? So anyways, other than that though, love you guys, my subscribers, much love and aloha, mahalo to you guys. I thank you guys for all the love and support, all the positive feedback that you guys have been giving me has inspired me to keep pushing harder and harder, not only to make better content and videos, but Tiki Falls 2.0. So I appreciate you guys. Happy fish, happy life, much love and aloha. Take a minute, you say you have to go, but yesterday I was in it, my love.